Hello humans, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you are one of my bagel babes. We are going to take a look at the Everlane Day Market Tote. I have had this bag for a hot second now. They did send it to me in PR. I actually kindly asked if they would send it to me because I have some Kuyana videos on here, some other Everlane videos. And I really wanted to put this bag to the test, especially if you are looking at buying a tote bag, the Kuyana tote bag, you're definitely looking at the Everlane tote bag and maybe even the Madewell tote bag. So honestly, I wanted to be able to try out this bag, review it for you guys, and down the line actually write a little bit of a comparison blog post and maybe do a comparison video of all those tote bags. But anyway, today we are just gonna focus on this bag. We will talk about the specs, the pros, the cons, everything in between. Do I recommend it? Is it worth your money? Let's do it. Okay, so I do apologize. I have zoomed the camera out as far as I possibly can, but um, the reality of this bag is it's it's just big. This bad boy retails for $175. It is made of 100% Italian leather, actually made in Italy, sold by Everlane. Someone is like blasting music outside. The bag is unlined leather on the inside. It does have one interior pocket right there, as you can see. Uh, there's no zipper on the pocket. It's just an open pocket. No zipper on the top. Open tote bag for you right there. This color I have right here is cognac, just so you guys know. I think it comes in a black color, the cognac color, and then there's actually like a blush, like a light pink color. So a few different color options for you. Right now, this is completely unstuffed. There's nothing inside of it. So as you can see, it does get a little bit, it's still fairly structured. They have an unstructured version of the tote. Uh, but this one is their structured version. So the base definitely has a lot of structure to it um, And the bag does hold its shape pretty well even unstuffed and unfilled All right, let's break out the pros and the cons of this starting with the pros Okay, pros. I think it's pro. It's big. So as you can tell, I've zoomed my camera out as far as I possibly can for you guys. Um, and it's it's just a big bag. It fits everything. It's really, really large. Because it is 19 inches across at the base and 16 and a half across at the top, you can fit pretty much any size laptop in here that you could possibly need. Uh, you can fit your laptop, a notebook, your lunch, a sweater, um, all of that good stuff. It's really big. So I think if you're somebody that needs a bag that's really functional, this is for sure, for sure going to be a pro of the Everlane Day Market tote. The other thing I would say is it's versatile. Uh, this does, because of the leather, I do think that this bag has a little bit more legs to it in terms of, I don't know why I say this whole like day to night thing. I, why is it that every fashion magazine made it sound like we would all be going day to night a lot more? Did that ever happen to you? I don't really go day to night. I go day to my sweatpants. But if you had drinks after work, if you were going to grab dinner, go to date night, have a meeting, whatever it might be, I do think that this bag, because because of the smooth nature of the Italian leather does read a little bit higher end, a little bit more streamlined and chic and I don't know, elevated, I think that's the right word. Pebbled leather does tend to have a little bit more of a casual vibe. So this does have a little bit more of a versatile look to it because of the fact that it is so smooth and chic. And then the biggest pro I would say here is it's just a really classic design. So Everlane is very well known for capsule wardrobe. We're not doing trends, you know, all of that good stuff, which is why I love Everlane so much. I really, really give them credit that I think that all of their designs are so well done that they will not go out of style. And this bag is just another really good example of that. You will have this bag. If you buy it today, you're going to be able to have it in 10 years uh, if it holds up, because quite honestly, the style is just not going to go away. There's nothing about a classic brown, black, or light pink tote bag that is ever going to go out of style. And I think Everlane really nailed it with this one in terms of just a classic versatile style. I don't Really know where to put price. Price could be a pro depending on you know what you're comparing it to. It's a pro if you compare it to the Neverfull, right? A bag that's $1,300 or something like that. At $175, it's it's not horrible. Um, but it could be a con depending on you know just overall budget. Uh, they say the traditional retail on a bag like this would be $400. You know how Everlane they do that transparent pricing, so they say okay this is what we charge and this is what another retailer would charge. I'm gonna call a little bit of BS on that for this bag, Everlane. You know I love you. Love, love the brand, um, but I don't know where this bag would traditionally be $400 because the Kuyana tote and the Madewell totes are both right in this like $170 to $200 range, um, and I think they're pretty darn comparable. So yeah, I'm a little unsure on that one, um, but could be pro, could be con, up to you based on price. Let's dive into some of the cons. 
Okay, so one of the cons I want to talk about because of the smooth leather, I know I said it was a pro on the pro side because it makes it look more elevated and transitional, uh, but it is a little bit more prone to scratching than say pebbled leather. Pebbled leather inherently just because of the texture to it absorbs the look of scratches more. This, this can be a little bit more obvious. I don't know if you guys can tell and I don't even know where it's from. There are these black like lines almost right here going across my bag. Um, I don't, I really hope you can see it with this lighting. Yeah, I think you can see it here now a little bit better, but right there and I don't know for the life of me How that happened or where it's from I have had my Kriana totes for well over a year now I have no damage like that. So I, I don't understand where that's from. I don't get why it doesn't to me look like denim I'm really short. I'm 411. So my butt doesn't even hit that high. I don't know. It's it's weird So I do think that this leather is a little bit more finicky. It's it's prone to damage uh, which can be a big con I also want to extend that into my second con, which is the inside, the unlined leather interior is also way more prone to damage. Again, I've only had this bag for a little while and I don't know how much you'll be able to see in there, but I've, defi I've definitely got some scratches. There's definitely some marks on the inside here. Um, so I just think the nature of an unlined leather bag, like it's just a little more prone to damage. I I use my bags, I'm not gonna baby them. Uh, it doesn't, you know, it's okay. I'm gonna keep using it even though it does have some exterior and interior damage. But if you are considering this tote, it's just something to be aware of. Okay, the last con I wanna talk about and the only thing that really functionally would make me not reach for this bag as much um, is, the, is the narrow base actually. It's very narrow and I'm not trying this this video is not a comparison video. I will do that uh, with some other totes I have coming up soon here. So I'm not gonna break out another tote and compare it to you, but what I, I can tell you is that in having used Longchamps, Neverfulls, Kuyana, Madewell, all of them, this is by far the most narrow bag, the most narrow tote bag out of all of them. And that that's just personal preference. I'm putting it in the con for me. Um, the reason I'm putting it in the con is because I have these very specific bowls that I take. They're like ceramic. Uh, Tupperware bowls from Costco. I take them to work with like pasta in it or salad, whatever I'm eating for lunch. And that can't quite sit flat. It, it like bulges a little bit over the edge. It's not even like a huge bowl. So there's just some things that because this is a little bit narrow, it doesn't quite fit in the base the way that I would like it to. Again, that's personal preference. If you are somebody that just is mostly carrying around a laptop paper, stuff like that, um, you're a little bit more streamlined. You like that streamlined, really chic, just thin, uh, that kind of look. I mean, this is all for you, man. This is a, that's a huge pro. For me, I just wish it was like a little bit wider so I could just fit everything in it. For me, totes are insanely functional. I use them like, you know, they're like the Ford F-350 of handbags for me. You know what I mean? Like this is like my get it done bag. So I don't want it to be <laughs> tiny or, you know, streamlined. I want it to be big and fit everything so I can haul it all where I need it to go. So those are my only cons. Overall, what do I think of this bag? I think it's a great bag. I think it's an awesome bag. And I think it's worth the price point it's at. I really like it, I enjoy it. It is different than my other totes. I don't actually have any other totes that are this smooth leather and this kind of like very narrow shape. Uh, so it's just a slightly different look, fills a specific hole in my handbag collection. I have a handbag collection video out right now, go watch it. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I gotta say. I just wanted this video to be really informative for you guys in case you were looking at buying the bag. Hopefully, you know, can toss up a couple pictures here for you so you can see what it looks like, mod shots. I'm 4'11 and 135-ish pounds, uh, just for your reference. So I am on the shorter side and I still love a big tote bag. Yeah, that's it. Just hope this video was helpful to you guys. If it was, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Subscribe to my family. I do handbag videos and makeup toots, lifestyle stuff, everything in between. So I hope you guys join my family. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.